Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss about the fitness part of table tennis and today we're going to focus on the legs and abs, obliques, strength and explosiveness. As you can see I'm doing the medicine ball throws, it's one of the basic exercises which you can do after your practice gets over. It's not that tough so you can do it after your practice. I'm catching the ball on side of my body and throwing it forward. The main thing to focus here is I'm not using the hands power to throw the ball, I'm using my core as well as my leg strength to throw the ball forward. See how I'm transferring the weight from one leg to another and then core twisting and then throwing the ball forward. This is another angle. So yeah, if you're facing problems like you're not able to generate enough power in your shots for attacking, like is it a backhand or a foreign top swing, you're not able to finish it, not able to generate enough power, then this exercise will surely help you. Catch the ball on the side, rotate your hips, use your legs, use your core and throw the ball forward and catch it again. Really simple, really basic but really useful. Yeah, this is an another exercise of medicine ball. Catch the ball and throw the ball upwards. The main thing again here to focus is we are not only using the power of our hands, we are using the power which is generated from our entire body, mostly from our legs. You have to go down, spring and then throw it up. You have to go down, you have to act like a spring and then throw it up. Yeah. The power is mostly coming from the lower body, from your legs. This is the last exercise known as the forward broad jumps. In this also, you have to go down and go forward. The entire power is coming from the lower body. Yes, we can use our hands to get the momentum, but the main power is generated from the lower body. Do a squat, go down and then shoot. Main thing is you have to land softly otherwise it will hit the knee. Do this 3-4 times a week. Okay, bye, thank you.